Hey, Mariah, how you doing? Um, I hope I'm saying that right, Mariah, and not Maria, right? I hope I am. Please let me know if I'm pronouncing your word right, your um, name right. Anyway, not a car person, but I like how the plinth looks. Barracuda is hard. Uh, Barracuda by hard play. I had a bulk. <laughs> I know, me too. Uh, I don't repeat during the entirety of this, but I probably still is, right? Once you get those songs in your head, it's, sometimes they're there for days. Let's go ahead and take a look. This is great. I love the creativity here. I'll tell you what, though. One, one thing I would recommend just to add some um, consistency is go ahead. If you're going to use black backgrounds, you use them in all four. But I think it's really creative. I love it. Um, okay, so first design. First design is no contrast. But contrast based on grouping. Excellent. Perfect. Perfect. Excellent. Second, um, one new size, one new weight. You've added a new size and a new weight in conjunction here, and I love the layout. Fantastic work. In the third composition, you want multiple contrasts and weight and scale. When I'm not really seeing multiple contrasts here, right? I'm seeing these are all the same, right? This is definitely a multiple. This is definitely a different contrast, and this is a different. But we have con, uh, same size and weight here, different size and weight here, and different size and weight here. So we have two different, actually, these are, the, no, these are, so we have one, two different changes in size and weight, but not multiple. We want multiple now. You've added some emphasis by, by using the italic, but we want multiple changes in size and, and uh, weight. All right, then in the fourth design, the same thing, multiple changes. Right now, we don't have multiple changes. This is the same as this, then this, and then these are really close to that. So we don't, I'm not seeing multiple changes. Love the layout, though, really creative job with the, the layout in the, in the car. I think it's, it's really super interesting. Now, one thing I would recommend, I would say, is, is in the, the first two are perfect, spot on perfect. These, the last two need multiple um, um, changes in contrast. So multiple contrast changes. So, so you want to work on that. Now, I, I think a really great idea here, knowing you, you've already been through the announcements. You definitely want to take a look at the announcement specifically right here. It's a great example of how to create hierarchy. This hierarchy example, right? Best I've ever seen. Um, fantastic. So you can follow through that. And also take a look at page 101 in the textbook. Oh, uh, by the way, everything in, in week three announcement is of critical and of the utmost importance. I, I can guarantee every student, and I do, I guarantee you spend some time in this announcement, go through all the resources and videos, you'll come out with a much, much, much better understanding and appreciation of both uh, grid use and hierarchy. Okay, so, um, oh, page 101 is a nine really wonderful examples on creating hierarchy. And the whole chapter on hierarchy is great there. So if you haven't looked at that, but definitely look at page 101 and get some, get some ideas there on specifically how to change, how to create multiple um, changes in hierarchy for your third, fourth composition. All right. But um, great, fantastic start. Love the creativity. Love it. Love it. Good job. Um, all right, so I'll be looking for those changes in your final submission. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. I'll be glad to make any necessary clarifications. But I will be looking for those changes reflected in your final submission, which is coming up this Sunday. All right, great job, good job. Thank you very much.